right. Tell me your name. My name is Carrie Verlander. Okay. Tell me your story, Carrie. Okay. I first, uh, I hadn't heard about TMJ yet. I was having some head, actually really bad headaches. They had, I've had them probably since I was in my teens, but kind of off and on wasn't uh, anything I couldn't live with. It seemed as I progressively got older, they got worse. Um, mm -hmm. While I was working down in Wichita, um, I decided to go see a doctor about it. So they, my regular doctor, at first diagnosed it as migraines, had me keep a food journal, gave me some pain medicine for migraines, which mm -hmm. did absolutely nothing to touch the pain at all. This is your primary care physician? This is my primary care, okay. yes. She then referred me to a neurologist, is mm -hmm. who, went and I, who I went and saw next, and he then proceeded to do, I think I had at least two or three MRIs. Mm -hmm. um, he gave me some stronger pain pills, which of course they took the pain away, but they also knocked me out. Um, in addition to the pain medicine... Were they pain pills or were they migraine pills? Like, well, I, we tried the Imitrex and the migraine type pills and that didn't touch it. Okay, so, we so these really on, were pain pills. Yeah, we moved on to like the Darvacet and, and those type of pills. Okay, just wanted to clarify. Which, okay. that would stop the pain, but it would also knock you out. And then they also put me on Topamax, an mm -hmm. anti-seizure drug, thinking that maybe that would work. That didn't, that didn't touch it or change anything at all. It got to the point where there was never a day that I didn't have a headache. It just kind of steadily, I always had one, and then I'd have spikes um, where it was worse. Mm -hmm. So I started, I was missing work. It seemed like I complained constantly, I've got a headache, I've got a headache. And I know people were getting sick and tired of hearing that. I was sick and tired of saying it. So my primary care physician here, actually, he's, he had Dr. Raman's name, and he recommended that I come and see you. Mm -hmm. So when I came in here, the first thing I did was you asked me a series of questions and I kind of answered, um, went through uh, where my specific pain was. Mm -hmm. And then we talked about different options. It did show that I had muscle strain, my jaw was causing a lot of strain in my head. So we talked about different options and I thought it was worth it to give it a try to put on a plate that would position my jaw in its most relaxed How position. Did we, how did we go about figuring out how the jaw should be? Would you please describe that? Oh, sure. Um, the way we did that, I initially we put electrodes all over. Um, Measure the he, muscles. Yeah, for my muscles. Um, well, he tested me before to see exactly what the what the pain, what where the pain was, and what level it was at. Afterwards, um, the second time around, I had the electrodes placed all over me, and we got my muscles to their most relaxed position. So we, we used that uh, ultra low frequency tense machine to relax all your right. jaw and neck muscles. Right, okay. relax everything. And then my jaw was sitting in its most relaxed position. Mm -hmm. And once we had it there, I, I took an impression right there. And when we did that, um, we decided to go ahead and try a plate to set my jaw into that position to see Before if that we did that, stop. you were given some options, right? Oh yeah, okay. um, I, was, I was definitely given some options. So we could do the plate. Um, we also, what else, we talked about braces. Um, eventually, once we figured out if the plate was working or not, I decided to go with the plate to see if it was going to work because I hated to invest in something in case we knew it was going to work. Yours was a fixed arthritic, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. Mine was so it's not so much you can take it in and out. It was attached to your teeth. It looked like teeth. Right. It looked okay. exactly like teeth. Okay. So once I had that put in, I was a little skeptical at first. I said, I don't know. I've tried everything. I'm not sure messing with my teeth is going to work. I was skeptical, but sure. I was to the point where but I But you also try. knew that this is, if it did not help you, we could reverse it, right? Exactly. We haven't made any permanent changes exactly. at the Exactly. This was just temporary. This was to see if it worked. So if it didn't work, we just took it all out and I was back to the starting point. Mm -hmm. So when we put that plate in, I would say... The arthotic, right? The arthotic. Not, okay. The arthotic plate, yes. Uh, I would say it was kind of odd at first getting used to it, but I would say probably within a week or so the headaches had subsided mm -hmm. to being minimal. Within two weeks I hadn't had any pain meds and I felt like a human being again. I can remember sitting at work and actually saying, my God, I haven't had a headache in a week. What kind of work do you do? I am a grain merchandiser. Okay. I sit in a chair and in front of a computer and on the phone all day. Okay. And so within two weeks the pain was gone. I was not taking any medicine, which that was fantastic. And you're also married. I'm married. Uh -huh. You mentioned earlier, people are getting tired of hearing that you headache all the time. Right, yeah. Would it include your husband? Oh, it would definitely include him. She's always got a headache, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, so after I wore the, uh, the orthotic for 90 days, mm -hmm. and during that time, um, you hate to say it, but it was almost, you know, like a miracle. I couldn't believe I didn't have a headache every day. So when I came back, I was shown several more options. There's an option where we could do it a lot quicker. We could look at surgery. We could look at 
continuing to wear the orthotic or we could start moving the teeth permanently so the jaw would sit that way with braces. Mm -hmm. And I decided to go with the braces. So we put those on. What was your reasoning for deciding that? On the braces? Uh -huh. um, the surgery was a little too costly. Besides, I mean, that, that was not something we recommended. That is right. an option I have to give you. Yeah, okay. yeah. And also, yeah, you said it'd be a better route to go with the braces. So we decided to do that. And also, I, I think about a moment, it's been a while. You did not really want me to uh, do any preparation to your teeth. You wanted right. to keep your natural teeth wanted alone. I to keep my natural teeth, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. more conservative. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the kind of orthodontics that we did, we moved the teeth to where we know the jaw position is already in the right place. Right. Okay. okay. It's called a neuromuscular orthodontics. Okay. Just so for the video, I'm telling you uh, that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it, it took several years, actually took a little over three years, mm -hmm. but slowly we moved the teeth to mm -hmm. where they sat in the uh, place that the orthotic plate sat. Mm -hmm. And it got my jaw positioned correctly. Um, I was worn too with the braces because of the way we were moving my mouth. I could have some spaces. Um, I opted that I didn't want anything changed on my teeth and mm -hmm. I'm was very lucky I really don't have any spaces to speak of. Mm -hmm. So um, we took, let's see, once that was done we, we took the braces off and I would say midstream, of course my phone, midstream and I, I kept, I was about 85 percent better when we put, um, when we put the braces on. Okay. Now when we were taking them off I would say I'm at least 90 to 95. I have the occasional headache but nothing at all like I did before. Okay. So. All right. And would you, uh, uh, please read the statement. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and then tell me what that is on top. Um, it says here that AADR TMD policy statement uh -huh. revision and written in here it basically says studies of the natural history of many TMDs suggest that they tend to improve or resolve over time. Um, and I find this statement really hard to believe because I guarantee mine was doing nothing but getting worse over time. And I think... And how old are you now? I'm 40. Okay. And you started having headaches and so on. How early? Probably my late twenties. Twenties. When the headaches, it got really, really bad in my mid thirties. Okay. Um, but it was steadily getting worse and worse. And the only thing that would stop the pain was more and more drugs, basically. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to be on all those drugs. So. So what would be your comment to those people? Not so much the people that wrote it. Mm -hmm. uh, people that have in a, in a position of making. Uh, decisions on what is the standard of care for dentistry in the country. What would you tell them so that they can take your words into consideration? Well, one of the things that surprised me is this worked so well um, for me. And I did look at my different insurances and the insurance company was willing to pay for the drugs and the MRIs and, and all those various treatments, but they weren't willing to pay for this. And I thought that was just completely asinine. So they, you paid out of pocket? Yes, I paid out of pocket. and. They, you know, they're willing to do something and make, and, and they're willing to pay for it basically for the rest of your life, but they're not willing to pay for something that's going to stop it. So I, t I think that's completely asinine. And I also think the people that are making these decisions, I'm not sure that they've actually spoken to people who've been through it or that they've been through it themselves. So they might need to do a little more research before they start dictating policies. <laughs> so before they believe those folks that wrote the letter, mm -hmm. wrote that policy statement I should say, you're saying that people that are in a position to make decisions for dentistry should actually visit with sufferers. They should that visit with the people who've been through, who've been through the same thing that I've been through. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Well thank you so much. Well thank you.